what's going on guys this is glake here and this is going to be my uh pokemon tcg i guess you could say sky legend uh preview set preview video as well as uh in addition to some some other updates <laughs> so um i've been meaning to get to this video for a while this one is actually kind of overdue i'm really behind on like my tcg content but like i said i wanted to keep up and try and do videos for all of the major like announcements that's tcg related and we've gotten quite a few pretty big announcements i would say within the past week or so and um yeah i just got done uploading the i forget which video it was it was for gg end it was a gg end set preview this and i mean i mean that set was fully like unveiled with the translations and everything uh, by courtesy of Poke Beach, that was released like I kind of want to say like two weeks ago. I think it was two weeks ago. It was a while ago, and um, I even got the Unbroken Bonds video up pretty late. But anyway, this is me my Sky Legend uh, preview. I'm gonna go over this entire set because I have not even gone over it yet. I've been saving that for this video. I usually do that if a new set is announced or translated or whatever. I'll just save it. Um, I'll, I'll just go over it whenever I do a video um, and preview the set. In addition to that, I want to talk about a few other major announcements. Um, <clears throat> we've got our August set, uh, our next set, which comes out in August after uh, after Unbroken Bonds is released this May. Our next set comes out in August. I want to talk about that a little bit, as well as the rotation news that was also announced last week. So some pretty big changes, a lot of new stuff uh, happening within the realm of Pokemon trading card game. And uh, yeah, let's start with uh, Sky Legend here, which is, I think it's Sun Moon. Okay, yes, it's Sun Moon 10B. So this is the latest set that is dropping in Japan. Actually, funny enough, it came out today at the time I'm recording this. It's the 25th, so it comes out today or it came out today in Japan. It's the 26th over there now, I think. So yeah, I mean, technically it just released in Japan. So. Uh, this just dropped today, and this is going to be a part of our upcoming set in August, which I'll get to in a second. Um, but anyway, let's go over these. So it's a pretty small set, you know. It's a subset kind of. So it's it's it's. I think it's going to be coming alongside of another set uh, that's going to be dropping. I think in July uh, in Japan. So you know, they don't want to overload you with that many cards all at once. But um, yeah, let's go through all of these and uh, <laughs> just just as a notice. Sorry if I sound sick, guys, because like freaking allergies are like man these allergies are absolutely bothering me but yeah i kind of want to go through all the major cards in this real quick um just to see what we got here so we got rowlet and a lowland executor gx 270 hp so as usual these tag team pokemon have very very bulky health so we've got uh super grow which costs absolutely nothing search your deck for a pokemon that evolves uh from one of your grass pokemon and put it onto oh whoa, 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 whoa wait wait what super gross search your deck for a pokemon that evolves from one of your grass pokemon and put it on on that pokemon to evolve it if you evolved into a stage one pokemon you may also search your deck for a stage two pokemon that evolves from the stage one that's crazy uh and and put it onto that pokemon to evolve it again wait no way you can evolve twice in one turn then shuffle your deck basically you can evolve any grass pokemon into its maximum stage even if the late later stages aren't grass wow this is like a better forest like this is insane i mean i'll be it i think it's it's probably once per turn because it is an attack yeah so it's not an ability so this is an attack so this will only work once per turn so i mean maybe i shouldn't call it a better forest but this is like a very very good forest replacement like unless they if they were able to reprint forest like or not even reap it if they were able to uh ban it or unban it rather and reprint it like i'd be fine with that over this but since forest is probably never going to come back this is an awesome replacement i <laughs> i am mad hype for this card dude it's it, yo things are looking up for grass decks things are looking up uh, we got Hurricane, 3 uh, energy for 150, heal 30 damage from this Pokemon, so not bad. And then we got Tropical Arrow GX, 200 damage if this Pokemon has at least 3 extra grass energies attached to it. In addition to this attack's cost, shuffle all energy uh, attached to each of your opponent's Pokemon. It's just, wow. That's wild. So, only if you have 6 energy on it, though. Um, but, geez, that is one scumbag move, and on top of that, you're doing 200 damage. That is insanity so once again i mean these tag team pokemon have some crazy gx attacks and some crazy moves 
And, you know, the downside to playing them, obviously, is that when they get knocked out, your opponent takes three prize cards. So, you know, they're halfway there to victory. So, um, yeah, that's one of those things. We got Dwebel here, Crustle. Uh, Crustle, let's see, probably nothing very significant. Shell armor, 30 less damage from attacks. Its ability, Fury Cutter, 50 plus damage. So three coins if one's ahead does an additional 40. So that's 90, not bad. If two are heads, does an additional 80. If all threes are heads, does 150. Yeah, for three energy, not very good. Uh, for Mantis, okay. Lorantis, we got 110 HP. Uh, anything good does 10 damage to each of your opponent's Pokemon does not apply for resist or resist resistance or weakness kind of sucks uh, Soul slash 50 plus if this Pokemon has any red energy attached to it uh, does an a fifth additional 50 hmm um, Nah, I'm not really feeling it 100 for two. That's that's mediocre at best <coughs> Honestly mediocre at best. Let's see Uh Okay, so we got Splash here, Bound Sweet, Steeny, huh, Double Slap, uh, 90 HP, Double Slap, 30 damage, again, 30 for each head, Leaf Step, 60 damage, not very great, uh, oh yeah, I forgot, this is the final of our of all form here, Serena, is that, I think that's how you pronounce it, right, Sarina, I think so, uh, Ability, Queen's Reward, once during your turn before you're attacking, you may attach one Grass Energy from your discard pile to your active Pokemon. That's actually pretty good. Uh, I mean, it's a stage two, so that kind of sucks because, you know, a lot of these cards, like, they provide energy support. Like, I'm noticing a lot of these new cards. There's a lot of bait, well, I don't want to say basic, but non-GX EX Pokemon that provide pretty good energy support. The only issue is that they're stage two, so it's going to take a while to set them up. Um... But hey, with that, uh, <laughs> with that, uh, with that Rowlet and uh, Alolan Executor GX, things are looking up. Things are looking up. Uh, but yeah, I mean, aside from the ability, 90 damage for three. <laughs> Miss me with that. It's BS. <laughs> Camera Rupt. Uh, we got 150 for four energy. Trash. And you lose two. It's not very good. Uh, Victini. Victini's got two. So this looks like it's the promo, I guess and just the regular art uh victory sign search your deck for two basic energy cards uh different types and attach them to your bench pokemon any way you like interesting for one energy i would like i would love to start with this for like my turn two though they have to be different types this could actually work kind of well in um this this may actually work kind of well with the uh giratina and uh, i forget what it's paired with uh, is it giratina garchomp I don't remember if that's i think that that might be what it is garchomp and giratina tag team is that the one that comes out on broken bonds oh no it, that's not a part of unbroken bonds that's part of gg end yeah i think this might actually work kind of well with that because that deck utilize or that card in particular it's a good card but the only problem with it is it utilizes two different energy uh requirements i think i think like one's dragon i think one might be fighting or psychic i don't remember and then one is colorless, I think. It's like three different type of energies for one of its attacks, but it's a good card. The only problem is uh, the energy requirement. And I think this could actually help very well if you end up going, if you end up going second. Uh, well, you know, your first turn when you can attack. This is pretty good. Um, I would not mind trying to run this. Um, so yeah, not bad. I kind of like that. Uh, Fletchender, okay. Talent Flame, anything interesting, 40 damage. Uh, the opponent's axe Pokemon is now burn flare bits for 100 discard one energy attached to this Pokemon and do 50 damage to one of your opponent's bench. It's not bad. You're doing 150 for two. You're losing one energy and that extra 50 goes to whatever you want. Not too bad, but you know, it's a stage two, so I'm not really feeling it. <laughs> uh, we got frost last. Actually, one of my favorite Pokemon is frost last. I absolutely love this card. Once again, uh, I absolutely love this Pokemon. Once again, this is gen four. Obviously I'm going to like it. Uh, but wait, Frostlass? Yeah, Frostlass is Gen 4. But its pre-evolved form is Gen 3, if I remember correctly. Frostlass is like a new evolved form that they put in Gen 4. Uh, bitter side, 20 times damage. Put up to 7 damage this Pokemon. Does 20 damage times the amount of damage counters. Okay. Eh. Uh, Icy win, 40 damage. Uh, opponent's Pokemon is asleep. Uh, not very good. We've got another Obama Snow. Obama Snow is back. Obama Snow is in base Sun Moon. <laughs> and Obama Snow returns again. Uh, let's see. Quick freeze, 70 damage. If the opponent's active Pokemon has any water energy attached to it, uh, it's not paralyzed. Okay. 
and then four energy for with for wild tackle 140 damage 20 not very good <laughs> four for 140 what the heck you know why do they do this dude why do they do this like just sometimes they just outright make terrible cards i'm just like why why can't everything be okay at best not terrible all right keldeo gx dude keldeo makes his return look at him confident look at him dude confident he has a sword like he he is ready keldeo has returned he has returned let's see sonic edge 110 damage for three the uh the stack damage isn't affected by any effects on your opponent's active pokemon we've got resolute blade gx 50 times damage that's 50 for each of your opponent's bench pokemon not bad not bad i like that three energy is kind of sus but I like that, uh, so not bad. I think this is a card I would cop. Uh, we got Tapu Fini, uh, Sharp Fin, 20 damage, 100 damage for Nature Wave. Uh, if your opponent has any Ultra Beast in play, the cost for this attack is color. What? Oh, it's just one, I guess. It's just one, one energy, one colorless energy for 100. That's not bad if they have Ultra Beast. You know they're more than likely going to have at least one. <laughs> Uh, okay, I'm not gonna look at these. Magnezone, I will look at. Uh, evolves from Magneton, obviously. Double t uh, ability, double type. As long as this Pokemon is plays both electric and metal. So this kind of is uh, infusing the two. You know what's interesting is we don't have dual types anymore. Um, I guess it would be horrible to have dual types, but I guess they're, they're just not ever going to do that anymore. They just make two separate cards for it. Uh, that seems to be what they're doing. They can make more money that way. <laughs> Uh, Magnet Bolt, 120 damage. Search your discard pile for a trainer card. Show it to your opponent and put it into your hand. So you do 120 damage and you get a trainer card back. Wow. That's actually not that bad. I mean, 120. One sec. <coughs> uh, sorry, guys. I'm going to try and sneeze as little as possible in this entire video because... Oh, this you know, these allergies are botting me for free. This is crazy. This is insane. This is one of the worst like seasonal out al like allergy episodes like I've ever had. Like it's 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 crazy. I don't even know how I'm doing this video right now. Anyway, um, so 120 is not that great, but you do get a trainer card back, so that's kind of cool. Not gonna lie, very interesting. We get other circuitry. Uh, another another one. I think one is in. Isn't one one is in GG End or Unbroken Mods? I think I can't really remember. Uh, three mirrors, thirty plus damage uh, does ninety more of your opponent's exactly three prize cards. Signal Beam for two fifty damage. Your opponent's active is now confused, so not that great. I think this might be okay, but it's not amazing. This actually would be even better if you pair it with uh, Electro Power. So I think this would be a card to a card you want to use when your opponent has exactly three. This might be pretty solid. <laughs> with electro power at least arbok um another one of my favorite pokemon this is art oh it has jesse in the background too that's awesome dude holy crap uh death death wait what death throw throw us I, I don't know how that's pronounced Thoris pattern uh when this pokemon is knocked out by damage from an opponent's attack choose two cards from your opponent's hand without looking and discard them what the heck well, that's interesting. And then Rocket Tail, 50 plus damage. If Jesse and James is in your discard pile, which is a card that I believe I believe is a part of this set. No, or is it part of Unbroken? I don't remember. It, it's a card that's already out, I think. Uh, that's coming out very soon. Before this, <laughs> before this comes out in our August set, Jesse James will already be out, I think. Is in your discard pile. This tactic is an additional 80. That's kind of okay. That's solid, I guess. Uh, wheezing, of course, ability white hole. Uh, you can use this ability once during your turn. If this card is discarded with the effect of Jesse and James, your opponent chooses one card from their hand and discards it. Okay. Uh, we got Yuxi here, secret territory. If you have the others in play, um, wait, uh, apply weakness. Oh, times four. Wow. <laughs> uh side shot 30 damage okay for three that's not really great but the 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 weakness above is is that's wild <laughs> times four imagine trying to hit this or try to hit, uh imagine using this or the others against a uh, freaking buzzle or something that's overkill uh surge your deck for up to three is mess fair three basic put them onto your bench so this could kind of be used as a bridget replacement or professor elms replacement if you want to use like this is another one of those cards 
Um, I know there was another card uh, like that. Uh, what was everybody using? I think it was Dunsparce. Everybody was using it for a little bit. Like, I'm talking a very short amount of time. And now people just pretty much use Professor Elm if they need to get multiple out on a bench and they're not running Nest Ball or something. Um, or Net Ball, rather. I think uh, this is very similar to Dunsparce. So, I mean, it depends. You, you, there's no... There's no health uh, limit or requirement or HP uh, re limit or requirement. So unlike Professor Elm, so you can just kind of do whatever you want. As Elf put three damage counters in your opponent's Pokemon any way you like. Nothing really amazing there. Uh, we got another Poiple. Nothing really amazing there. The last scene is kind of interesting though. So if uh, 50 plus damage, if both players have one prize card remaining, it does an additional 130. So this is pretty much guaranteed to knock out most things. Uh, unless it's a tag team card, but that's pretty wild. This is, this might see some play. I think this might see some play, perhaps. Um, uh, we got a Drudagon. Uh, duh, duh, duh. Uh, huh, interesting. 100 times damage this is 100 for each head, so that's kind of wild. This is a basic two, so Jesus Christ. This is, a, this is actually a card that could actually work well with Victini. So, you know, you're grabbing two basics from your deck with Victini. And then on the following turn, all you would need to do is just attach one more and find a way to get Victini out of your active. This is that... Oh my god, dude. This could actually end up being a deck of its own. I could see it happening. I could see it happening, honestly. Like, because this is wild. I'm not going to lie. And I'm not going to sit here and act like there's... There will be... No, by the time this card is out, like in the, in the West at least, there will definitely be other cards, uh, I think that will help you get energy like just more energy acceleration cards there'll be more uh, options available so you won't have to solely rely on victini but wow yeah this this i could see this being a thing i can honestly see this being a thing uh we got another naganado gx this one is dragon type however uh does it do the same thing no it's completely different once during your turn before you're attacking you just discard an ultra piece from your hand then draw three cards okay so we have something similar to uh, Zorark's ability, uh, however, you're just getting rid of Ultra Beast here. Venom Shoot, discard two energy from this Pokemon. This deck does 170 damage to one of your opponent's Pokemon. That is wild. Don't apply weakness and resistance for bench Pokemon. Okay. And then Injection GX, choose one card from your opponent's discard pile. Show it to your opponent. Put it face down as one of your opponent's prize cards. <laughs> oh, wow. Dang, that's scumbaggy. Giving them a, another prize card to deal with. And then we've got Artic our Moltres and uh, Zapdos Articuno. The Moltres and Zapdos and Articuno GX. We got the trilogy. The gang gang. Yo, look at them, dude. Look at them. They're like, you want to mess with us? <laughs> They're like, you, you want to play? Yo, dang. That's crazy. Probably not going to see much play just due to its energy requirement. But man, just look at them. 210 damage. Sky Legend. Or, okay, so they got Trinity Burn for 210 damage, 4 energy. Sky Legend GX. Shuffle this Pokemon and all cards attached to it into your deck. If this Pokemon has at least one extra red uh, energy, one extra water, and one extra lightning attached to it, in addition to this uh, attack's cost, attack does 110 uh, damage to three. Oh my. Yeah, to three of your opponent's Pokemon. Don't apply weakness or resistance for bench. That's wild. But, I mean, let's be real. Nobody's going to have time to set this up. It's weak to electric. A lot of decks are, are going to be, like, very well teched against this. So, I mean, it's a really cool card. Like, look at that art. That's amazing. But, uh, I honestly don't think it's going to see much play. But this is this is a beautiful card on the list. This is a very beautiful card. Um, so, we got Lickitung. Uh, obviously, Lick a Lily. Uh, dancing or lick, lick a lily dancing. Not any damage. Discard one card from your opponent's hand without looking. If you do, discard one card from the top of your opponent's deck. If you do, discard one. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> okay. Uh, it's just a just it's just a lot of disruption. Like this is gonna be this is gonna be an annoying card. I know some some people are gonna find a way to make that work. It's gonna be very annoying. Noctowl, sixty damage to one of your opponent's Pokemon that already have damage counters on it. Not too great. And another slashing claw for 60. Uh, we got a Dino here. Ability hearing once you return before your attack. If this Pokemon's your active Pokemon, you may draw a card. We got Fletchling. Um, doo -doo -doo, type Null, another one. We have so many Type Nulls. We have so many Savalis. Uh, 30 plus damage. This deck is 50 damage. Oh, wait, wait, wait. 30 plus damage. Uh, 50 more damage for each prize card 
on your your opponent took during their last turn. Ah, okay. Interesting. So more likely they're gonna have you're not really doing much damage, but let's be real. Let's be real. You're really not doing much. Air slash for 120. And then we got the items. So Z moves are now in. In case you guys were not aware, most of you probably already know about it by now, because like I said, this video is late AF. Um but yeah, we got Z crystals for tools and or for items rather, and Z moves are in. So I kind of want to get up to speed with these because I don't exactly know how they work. I just know that you can just do powerful moves now. So how does this work? So Pokemon tool, attach a Pokemon tool to one of your Pokemon that doesn't already have a Pokemon tool attached to it. If this card is attached to a Pokemon that has the attack tackle, what? Oh, okay. Okay, because it's nor Normalium Z tackle. That Pokemon can use it can use a GX attack on this card. It must have the necessary energy to use the attack. Oh, okay. So dash attack. Wait, what? Huh. Dash attack GX. Uh, 200 plus damage. Flip a coin until you get tails. Attack does 40 more damage for each heads. Why would you need to do that much damage? <laughs> you may play as many item cards as you like during your turn. Okay, so I believe how this works um it can only okay i see it, this can only be attached to pokemon i see so so the so the crystals themselves are technically just item gx cards so it just gives you the option to use a different gx attack you can still only use one a game but this still gives you i believe this still this just gives you an option to use a different gx attack and the requirement to use that alternative gx attack is to have the attack tackle for this one um and then you you're you basically just unlock a new gx attack as long as you have tackle and that's this one otherwise if you don't have tackle you can't utilize this at all so um so basically the requirement is the energy and the attack tackle and that unlocks the ability dash attack gx so that's kind of how it works and obviously this has to be attached so you can't put this on a pokemon that already has an item to it that choice man on a pokemon you can't use it uh so yeah so we got an air slash uh we got an air slash z z card so uh if the pokemon you're attaching uh, the pokemon you want to attach this to you gotta make sure it has air slash uh upgrades to dive crusher gx 180 damage prevent all effect all effects of attacks including damage from this pokemon during your opponent's next turn wild dude <coughs> so i think that's it for z cards is that it yeah that's pretty much it so just those two and then we got u-turn board attach a pokemon tool to one of your pokemon that doesn't already have a pokemon tool attached to it the retreat cost uh of the pokemon that starts is one less if this card will go into discard pile and play put in your hand and set okay so just kind of slightly reduce it it's not exactly it's no it's no float stone but it just reduces the cost I don't know how I feel about that. Probably trash. Pokemaniac. Cause it's just it just it just re reduces by one. That's like what? Like come on. What? <laughs> this is whatever, dude. Pokemaniac. Uh search your deck for up to three Pokemon with four retreat costs. Put them into your hand. Wow. Okay. Uh and it's up to three. Jesse James. Each player discards two cards from their hand. Your opponent discards first. If the player has no cards in their hand, they do not discard any cards. Interesting. I want to see this. Look at them, classic Team Rocket. I like that. We got Blizzard Town, a stadium. Each Pokemon in play with 40, uh, 40 or less HP remaining can't attack. That's so scumbaggy. That's so scumbaggy. That's crazy. Let me see this. Blizzard Town. I wonder which town this actually is. There's no Blizzard Town. I wonder. Is this gonna be like a place in in, in Sword and Shield, or is this just like just a random place? <laughs> Uh, we got en recycle energy provides colorless energy if this card is put into discard pile uh just return to your hand so this provides one colorless energy not any energy just one colorless uh netball gets a reprint no yeah this is different no this is netball there's i keep forgetting that there's nest and there's netball this is that's netball. Oh, no, this should be this should be nest ball, not netball, right? Hang on, I gotta look this up for myself. <laughs> I actually have to look this up for myself because I'm mad confused. Okay, yeah, net. This is nest ball, or this is netball, and nest ball is is the other one that grabs other bracelet. I feel like this should be. I 
feel like this should be nest ball and the other one should be net ball, but whatever. <laughs> uh, search your deck for a basic grass Pokemon or uh, green energy card reveal it, put it into your hand. Okay. Got Gladion. Uh, he gets a reprint. Look at him. So emo, but he loves his, his Savali. He loves it so much or is his type mode, whatever. I guess it's Savali in this picture, right? That is Savali, right? I think it's, yeah, that's Savali. Got Lily. Lily gets a reprint too. Oh, Lily's so cute. Clefairy's so cute. And then Lusumin gets a reprint as well. So that's pretty much it for uh, Mama Lusumin. <laughs> Lusumin. I don't know how you pronounce her name. That's pretty much it for everything Sky Legend. Um, highlights. Do I even have any highlights? I don't know. Everything in here seems pretty mediocre. What was I really freaking out about? Uh, Victini is solid. Um, I think that was basically it. This is, this is easily the highlight for me. Like, because I love grass Pokemon and I really want to run more grass stuff. This is going to help out a lot. Um, yes, I'm, I'm personally like very, 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 uh, what's the word? I'm very cautious about running team up cards. Um, if you guys ever watch my PTC Geo streams, I really don't run any decks that utilize team up cards. If I do, I only have one in there. Um, so yeah, as you can imagine, I don't play Pikachu Zekrom uh, team up. I don't really play that deck at all. Um, and I honestly don't really play any other team up cards for that <laughs> or tag team cards. Sorry for that matter. Like I just, cause I feel like if things go wrong for me, like my opponent immediately is on their way to winning the game. I'm just like very paranoid like that. Uh, but this is one that I would run. Uh, I, I am very excited for this card. Like I said, I'm actually upset because the cards I'm excited for the most are so far off. Like they're either a part of GGN or now a part of this. So, I mean, I gotta wait till like August to like have fun with all these cards. This is wild. But anyway, that's it for my Sky Legend preview. Um, I just want to go over the other quick news very quickly because I know this has already been long enough. I just want to uh, preface everything else very quickly before I close this up. So um, heading on over to the official Pokemon website, you guys already know this huge news. The 2020 season uh, for Pokemon TCG, uh, the rotation has just been announced. So this was, yeah, this was basically the last week. So like I said, I'm pretty late. <laughs> Um, but yeah, this is wild. So pretty much everything Ultra Prism and onwards is going to be legal uh, for or is going to be a part of standard rather for uh, the 2020 to 20 or the 2019 to 2020 season of Pokemon. So starting things off, you know, straight away right after rotation hits, uh, the legal sets will be Ultra Prism, uh, Forbidden Light, Celestial Storm, Lost Thunder, Dragon Majesty, Team Up and the Detective Pikachu. And our August set, uh, which brings me to our August set, <coughs> or no, sorry, because there is one missing in here, and that is Unbroken Bonds, which comes out next week. Um, so yeah, right away in August, uh, this actually, not even in August, this starts on July July 1st, the rotation hits, oh no, 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 sorry, 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 the 2020 season starts July 1st, so that's when you can start getting points for the uh, upcoming uh, 2020 season starts right away on July 1st. I believe that's still before internationals. So if you do well internationals, if you get some points uh, during that tournament, uh, that's going to be, I believe, I don't know how that would work because Nats should, Nats is technically like a, in a way, it's technically a last chance qualifier for the 2020 season, I think, or the, the world's 2019 worlds, isn't it? So I wonder if your points would go towards both or would they carry over i'm not really sure how that would work personally i've never been to national so i have no idea um but either way the 2020 season officially starts on july 1st and the rotation does not hit until august 15 2019 but that also means that it's going to be in effect for worlds 2019 which takes place from the 16th to 18th so if this was literally like one day later not even a day if this was like two days later um it would worlds would worlds would still be the format we currently have going on right now so it would be uh base sun moon to whatever unbroken bonds right yeah base base sun moon to unbroken bonds but um yeah this is actually kind of crazy uh we're losing a ton of sets <coughs> and we're also losing a ton of like notable cards uh that people are currently playing to this day so I mean, to just name a few, World is going to be absent of pretty much everything Zoroark GX variant. Um, 
We're going to be losing Buzzwool, which has been another big card in the past. We're going to be losing, I believe we're losing Rare Candy, which is a huge deal. I, th I think we're actually, are we losing Rare Candy? No, Rare Candy got a reprint, so Rare Candy is good. But I mean, we're losing Guzma. Um, I think we still, yeah, we still have Cynthia. Um, what else are we losing? I know we're losing like a lot of other really good cards. Um, it's just wild. Actually, I think we're losing Choice Band as well, which is also like insane to just think about. Like, what? Team Up cards are gonna be so much better now. Like, if we if Choice Band doesn't get a reprint, this is gonna be a huge L. But uh, yeah, I mean, we're losing a lot of cards, and I would make a separate video about going over all like the major cards that we're losing. But I'm pretty sure most of you already know by now that uh, pretty much this is going to be one of the weirdest like worlds ever just because of this huge rotation going in before it uh, before it kicks off but anyway the expanded is going to remain unchanged so it's still going to be black and white and onward um so if you're an expanded lover you don't have to worry too much about that but yeah this is a pretty uh pretty huge deal so like i said it'll be ultra prism forbidden light celestial storm lost thunder um <laughs> Uh, Dragon Majesty team up Detective Pikachu on Broken Bonds, which releases next week, and uh, shortly following that will be Unified Minds. Yes, this is also courtesy Poke Beach right here. Uh, they did announce this a while ago. It says seven days ago, so I guess last week, like I thought. And this will be the name of our Sun Moon Eleven set, which will also be legal for Worlds, um, and it releases on August second. So this will also be will it be legal for worlds actually i'm not sure because it's two weeks i think uh yes it will it will be legal for worlds so <laughs> that's wild that you know that's crazy this is this is gonna be very 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 it's gonna be interesting worlds this is why i really want to go to worlds this year because this is gonna be crazy interesting it's gonna be a fresh fresh late fresh meta for absolutely everybody um I guess maybe except for Japanese players, but like it, it's it's gonna be wild. Like this is I don't even know personally. Like I've been into I've been actively playing a Pokemon trading card game for since 2017, so only a few years now. But you know, even the last few years that I've paid attention to Worlds, there hasn't been a rotation before Worlds. So this is absolutely wild to me. Like to me, I'm like holy crap, this is actually a thing insanity so yeah um so once again uh the full like set list for our unified mindset uh has yet to release but it's going to be a culmination as you can see here of ggn and sky legend like i said previously and then miracle twins uh which comes out later in may in japan and i haven't i actually have not looked at this yet has a full set list for this oh this is just a mirror this is just a mini set miracle twins so um yeah i guess that's it for now it's just gonna be a part of ggn and sky legend um and probably some other stuff that's coming up they say japanese starter decks um and uh yeah apparently this will be the last major sun moon set before sun moon is completely recycled out because as you guys know gen 8 is finally this year holy smokes feels like we've been on gen 7 for eons but yes gen 8 is this year so you know after unified minds there is possibly going to be one more sun moon set because there's going to be another set after the august set which is this one there'll be another set in d no, november uh, is when they do them i keep forgetting because hearthstone does it. like i'm always thinking of hearthstone sets and and pokemon sets as i play both games hearthstone does theirs in december pokemon does their last set in november um so yeah i think our last sun moon set will probably be in november uh if we are going to get one last one if not then our first sword and shield set will be in november um rather than february of 2020 so i guess we'll have to see what happens but yeah more than likely we'll have one more uh, sun moon set after unified minds that will launch in november um but yeah guys this is a ton of ex <laughs> this is a ton of exciting news if you're a pokemon trading card game fan player competitive player or just casual collector like this is a huge deal there's a lot of big changes happening a lot of crazy cards on the way my bank account cannot handle this cannot cannot keep up <sighs> it's a lot of wild stuff anyway this has been a very long video sorry to keep you guys uh <laughs> sorry to keep you guys uh yeah this is this is this has been very long not as long as my last one even though it was kind of going over a set but 
that one for some somehow was a lot longer than this one um but anyway i'm going to call it uh, i'm going to call it an end here i think this is just about it so yeah a lot of changes happening like i said this has been a, a pretty late uh, upload i really wanted to get this stuff out like immediately after it was announced by Pokemon beach but um Hey, what can you do? I, I really don't want to miss out on any of these huge updates, though. So I'll try my absolute best to kind of get things out at least within or at, at, at most within like the, the first two days after its announcement. I don't want to go any later than that um, from here on out. But anyway, if you guys enjoyed the video, please be sure to drop a like. If you haven't subbed to the channel yet, hit that sub button and hit that bell so you know immediately when I drop a new video. I'm going to try very hard to get back to my daily upload schedule. So that means more TCG, TCGO related content, as well as all the other stuff that I do here on this channel. I really want to get back to it. So far, I've been streaming daily pretty much for the past month now. Um, so yeah, I'm like on a full-time Twitch schedule at the moment, but I want to get back to doing uh, uh, YouTube uploads as consistently as possible as well. So uh, yeah, just show me that support if you enjoy the videos. And uh, until next time, you guys keep on gaming and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.